And we're looking at a century, we're looking at a century of, of weather, very very weather, 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 and higher. With 168 degree tarmac under his feet. And so the new normal, like you mentioned, is what we need to be looking at in the 110s. And we have to be able to function in those conditions. And I have to tell you, um, uh, people aren't running from the city. Uh, Phoenix, uh, Phoenix's county was the national county with the highest domestic in migration in the country last year. Oh, yeah, it's a lot hotter outside. I tend to get up at 3.30 in the morning now into outside chores and indoor chores. I planted a garden. The garden died, even though I water it at 4 in the morning. If you didn't believe in global warming, you better start believing now. Some nearby villages are still completely surrounded by this blaze. The government says it doesn't have enough firefighters to combat the sheer size of this fire. Portugal's National Authority for Public Safety issued wildfire alerts due to high temperatures, low humidity, and strong winds that continue to fuel the flames. But these heat waves, this prolonged elevated heat, now we can expect that to go way up to where there may have been 30 days over 112. We may be seeing 60 or days or more. When we have these extreme heat episodes, we get uh, domes of pressure over the city that cause inversions and trap ozone in the low level of the atmosphere where it serves as an irritant to anybody who has asthma or allergies uh, or any kind of um, respiratory condition. And we're going to have to change your behavior. With temperatures routinely over 40 degrees Celsius in recent weeks, many have taken to murky rivers and lakes to cool off. The reason is that some of the regional jets that they fly out of there, uh, American Airlines in particular, um, they aren't rated to fly at over 118 degrees, and we got up to 119 on Tuesday. And in fact, there are more fatalities in the temperate cities of America. Hi. Um, so my, my point I wanted to bring up really was yep. that um, we have a lot of people, especially here in New Orleans, with houses that are not really meant to, to hold in or built to hold in uh, heat. They're not built to, to control it. And like for me, for instance, we have an air conditioning unit provided by our landlord, it's central air. Okay. But it's not designed to deal with heat higher than 90 degrees. So when it goes above 90 degrees in our, you know, in our, in our city, you end up with 85 degrees in my house because it can only be 10 degrees lower than the outside temperature. Yeah. So I end up with 85 and 90 degree house. If it's 115, I'm going to end up with a 95 degree house all day. And, you know, no matter how much I feel it for weather, if it's got vintage windows or something like that, the one that's only going to replace, we're just stuck. Let's, let's try to remember this. I mean, we had a water crisis on the, in the West Coast for the last three or four years. Uh, good wet year, that's over. Um, we have to think about that, not just when it's happening. Uh, we also have to mitigate. We have to get to the root cause of climate change, uh, change our um, en energy uh, generation and transmission, uh, really invest in innovation for storage technologies. People saying this could be done, but, but this, isn't, this isn't just towing at the margins. You're talking about moving agriculture, changing it, shutting it down. You're talking about changing the profile of the built infrastructure. Well, there's some decisions to be made. How do you deal with that buildup of urban heat and how do you anticipate uh, coming uh, climate change? I, I think it's possible. I want to point out that the first cities in the world were established in countries that are just as hot as Phoenix or Tucson um, in what is today Egypt and Iraq. Mm -hmm. And these people didn't have air conditioning yet created writing and machinery and things that we still benefit from today. And so we'll end up with um, death. We're ready to do the necessary to adapt and survive. I think this is a challenge. On both black and white, yeah, yeah, yeah. Up on a boat and in the street, the love must share. But in this evil world, it is so quite rare. Hustles and jostles, human fear up against the encounter who opposed to declare the goodness of one heart. Them can't compare unto the lifestyle them live and how them breathe in the atmosphere. The essence they wanted, it just ain't dear. Them never do good, so them get caught in this year. Remember, everybody listen, but I know everybody here. 
Babylon is so unfair Them go dead out tonight Oh yeah, when King Selassie I strike Yeah, yeah, fireball I go light Oh yeah, from both black and white Yeah, yeah